heavy approach. Yeah. Very short section. Left one. Left. It all started with me, seven years old, sitting in the car, going to my grandparents in Gothenburg in Sweden to celebrate Christmas. And when I'm in the car, I get a pain in my bottom from sitting down. Two weeks later, that pain is diagnosed. It's cancer. It's a tumor the size of a fist growing in my lower back. I spend my eighth birthday getting chemotherapy. I ended up having surgery when I was nine, removing the cancer, but also cutting nerves going to my legs. And that's why I'm in a wheelchair today. To top it all off, the cancer came back three times in my lungs. I had to find ways how to get through this. Because if I wouldn't have done that, I think I would have gotten crazy. I realized I needed to find those tools that I can use to get through this time. And the cool thing with those tools, it's the exact same tools that I've used in my life to be able to do things that I never ever thought would have been possible. Especially not in the wheelchair. Things like to climb Kilimanjaro in Africa. Skiing to the South Pole, one of the coldest places on Earth. Or swimming across the Baltic Sea from Sweden to Finland. Cancer has put me on an unexpected path. It taught me that we are far more capable than we think. For my next challenge, I want to climb one of Europe's most iconic mountains, the Matterhorn. My name is Aaron Andersson. I'm a professional adventurer in a wheelchair from Sweden. And I'm in Chamonix right now in France, and I'm here to climb the Matterhorn. Well, then you're going to say the Matterhorn is not in France. That's correct. We're going to go up here with the Aguide Midi, and we're going to acclimatize and prepare for the Matterhorn. Because in a few days, we're heading over to Switzerland, to climb the epic, epic Matterhorn of Switzerland. Uh, we're here with Doggo, the head guide, and Tom. So Tom is taking my crutches a lot and helping support me on the climbing, and Doggo has me on, on the rope. We're going down here and just practice being on the rock and climbing and getting acclimatized. Here is like 3,800 meters, uh, so it should be a good day. <laughs> Feels a bit So right now we're preparing to do an abseil here on this rock face. So I'm gonna rappel down and we're gonna take some freaking awesome photos. <laughs> Welcome wheelchair. <laughs> I think this one's good. Going to the side here. How does that top harness feel? It's okay. Keeping you in the right position. <laughs> Okay, let me go there. Okay, this actually works. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm just out on the mountain for a quick roll. How are you doing? Well, hello there. <laughs> nice. I would say that was pretty cool. I enjoyed taking photos of that. I've never taken photos of a wheelchair in the mountain before, <laughs> let alone abseiling in the mountain. All right, so I'm a bit tired today. We had a, a full day of climbing yesterday, and then we went over here to this hut, the Italian Torino hut, 
and we slept here at 3,375 meters and we did that to acclimatize for the altitude because when you sleep up high the body is like whoa what is this and you usually sleep pretty pretty bad actually so I slept like three four hours this night uh, but now I'm starting to feel better like the body is is accepting the altitude making more red blood cells to feel better and today we're just gonna chill be on altitude take it easy and then tomorrow we're gonna keep climbing getting ready for the Matterhorn We left Chamonix and headed over to Zermatt, where the Matterhorn is located. Look at this. The weather is really bad. Oh, come in. Come. Uh, we're up at Schwarzo now at 2,500 meters. It's not looking good. Like The weather right now is really, really bad. It's raining here. And if it's raining down here, it's probably snowing up there, which is not good for us because then it's way harder to climb the mountain. It's way bigger of a challenge. From the Schwarze hut, we needed to make the walk up to the Hernley hut, which is where we will start the climb. I have to work pretty, pretty hard on a passage like this, uh, but it's okay. Um, to me, this is just like uh, a transportation <laughs> to the actual climb to start going up the Matterhorn, but still got to do it. I might be a little bit biased here, but he's the most incredible person I know. He is always happy. He's always finding ways to look at situations in a positive way. And he's always like, okay, how are we gonna do this situation the best? We made it! Woohoo! Ah. First micro goal is done. Yeah. Now we only have that little thing to go. Ah, that's easy. <laughs> this little thing? <laughs> yeah. Whew. When I, things get hard, I think about that I've done much harder things. I beat cancer four times. That's hard for real. This is just physical pain. But at the same time, I look out at this and think, wow, it's totally worth it. And I also about, think about all the other kids going through cancer right now that we're raising money for, trying to do something good with this adventure. It's also something that gives me a lot of energy. As a kid in a wheelchair, I never thought that I could climb mountains. And a friend showed me that it was possible by helping me climb Cabernet Kaiser Ice Mountain of Sweden. We did that and then I realized that we can do so much more than we ever thought was possible. And I guess that's why I'm here. Because I saw the Matterhorn, I figured, why not? It's pretty cool, I think, that we, we can all do so much more if we dare to see our possibilities instead of our limitations. So it's quarter to 12, quarter to midnight, and we had like two and a half hours of sleep. I think I slept 15 minutes maybe. And now we're getting up, getting ready to go out and climb in the night. And yeah, this is probably going to be one of my biggest challenges yet so far. My name is Oscar Krumlinde and my job is to take up Maria as safely as possible and then down as well. And then just support the team as much as possible. So I'm August and I'll be carrying Aaron's uh, wheelchair together with Oscar. My name is Oscar and I'm carrying the wheelchair with August. Here we have it. The wheelchair is six kilos. I couldn't do this challenge without the help of my friend. Carrying the wheelchair up is no easy task. The reason we are bringing the wheelchair is to make a summit picture with me and the share to inspire others. And I'm so grateful that they agreed to join me. And we're starting. I'm excited, man. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> no, you're doing great, moving really well. 
Thank you, thank you. Look, uh, Some sections stable. are tricky, like. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, I mean, really need to concentrate. It, no, you're looking solid. Sure. We're prepared for everything. Oscar has a wheelchair, Thomas crutches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doing things as a team just makes the whole experience more memorable. First tower. Because my legs don't really work so well, I have to mainly use my upper body, which takes a lot of effort. <sighs> it's hard. I've done about 270 meters, maybe 280 meters. We're working good. It's really nice. Ready for the thick ropes? Yeah, finally. <laughs> it's my favorite. Scared of falling? Like if if you fall, you fall a really long time and. I mean, I'm, I'm with Dougal, he's an amazing guide, but if there's a section where he can't really attach us anywhere with the rope, it's like if you slip, it's super easy to get hurt, to get injured. Bro, 900 to go. Yeah, so we got about 900 altitude meters to go now. And yeah, I think we're doing a good job. I'm a bit afraid of failing, getting tired and just realizing it's not gonna work. That would suck, but I'm, I'm for sure more excited than afraid. I've dreamt about this mountain for many years and now we're here. Awesome. Yeah, so basically that's three and a half, three hours forty-five to here. Yeah. Which means it'll take us the same to get to the top. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even more because of the conditions. Yep. Yeah. Um, but let's say it's seven to the top. Seven let's say eight on the summit, I'd say it's realistic. Yeah. That's eight down, which is sixteen, four o'clock. Yeah. Which takes us right in the middle of the weather window. Yeah. As in, sorry, the bad weather coming in, according to Meteo Blue. So, um, at the moment, I'm 99% convinced that it's a turnaround. I don't want to turn around because, I mean, you're doing really well, fantastically. I mean, yeah. super impressed and you don't look tired. You're not dripping with sweat like most people would be up here. Yeah. So, like I 100% believe that you're capable of getting to the top. Yeah. And if we yeah, had an so endless too. weather window, like I would totally carry on going. It wouldn't even be a question for me. Yeah. It seems like we're a little bit too slow. And the thing is like the, the speed we're holding would have been okay if it wasn't lightning on its way. And the other day on the forecast, it was gonna come at six. And then it was just a little bit of rain at six. But now it looks like it might be lightning at 2 o'clock already, which is not fun. You don't want to be stuck on a mountain and lightning. So a little bit unlucky with the weather because I like I feel fine. I'm I'm not moving super fast, but I'm feel okay. Like I'm I'm not fast on the mountain, and we we knew that. Uh, but we hoped we would be a little bit faster and that the weather would come a little bit later. Hmm. Uh, and it's never fun to turn around and don't succeed with the project, but I guess we have to <laughs> come back another time. <laughs> but it sucks. Because I wanted to get up to the summit and show people that you can do so much more than you ever thought was possible. I think you already showed that today. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you know? I'm so glad I'm impressed. <laughs> you can do so much more than you really. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. It's been really cool to watch you all these days, yeah, and especially you today. You move in a consistent pace. You know, maybe it's a little bit slower, but it is a good solid yeah. pace and it's consistent through like all the different terrain, loose traverses, steep terrain, pulling fixed ropes. Yeah. It's it's really incredible to watch and you know I you inspired a lot of people. Thank you. Uh, especially this group who gets to watch you live. And uh, I guess let's get down then. <laughs> yeah, it's not over yet. Yeah. We've still no, got some climbing to do. Long, long some down climbing. Go. Same as coming up. But I still think we need a wheelchair picture at the Solvay Hut, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
made it to the solar hut. Yay! Yay! Bit sad right now, of course, right? We're, we're turning around, going down without getting to the summit. And, but at the same time, I'm trying to focus on this beautiful sunrise we got going here. And uh, focus on that we raised uh, a lot of money for kids with cancer so far. Really proud of that. And uh, hopefully we can inspire a lot of people to follow their dreams. But I want to come back to this mountain because I'm sure I can do it if we just have a little bit of a longer weather window. Du är grym alltså, hur fan vad grym du är. Jävla kul att med på det här. Sometimes it's good with some failure, huh? Uh, sometimes you don't make it in the first attempt. It's good to hone your skills even more, analyze what went wrong and come back and just do it again. And that feeling on the second attempt is going to be even, even more fulfilling. Uh, it was predicted to come in storms and now they really started to come in. Clouds are, clouds are rolling in over, over the, the summit of the mountain. Winds are really picking up and thunder is predicted as well. And I think it's just a matter of time before it's coming. So yeah, for sure it was the right decision, even though it's, it sucks. <laughs> I guess we have to come back next time. Yep, let's walk down this mountain. 